We always tell our clients, go where your customers are. It kind of makes sense, right? You don't want to be advertising on the radio if you know your prospects are not listening to the radio. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at Nextdoor, which is a new platform I recently started playing with, where basically people in your area, your city, socialize, share all sorts of stuff, but also ask for recommendations. Do you know a plumber? Do you know a car mechanic, a web designer, solicitor, you name it. So if you're a local business, you should definitely try this out. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your business page on Nextdoor. Coming up. I'm Alex from Brilliant Digital. If this is your first time here, we create videos just like this one where we help you get more out of your website and leverage digital marketing in your business. So if that's something you're interested in, click on the subscribe button below and the bell icon next to it to be notified when we release our next video. By the end of this video, you'll have a business page up and running on Nextdoor, plus a few tips to help you promote your business. I'll be honest, I've only started using this recently. I don't even know if at the time of recording this video, if Nextdoor is available to everyone or via invite only. I've been invited, so if you're not sure where to sign up, I'll put a link in the description below. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to sign up for a personal profile. For that, you'll have to go to nextdoor.co.uk. This is a people's platform. The concept behind it is to connect with your next door neighbor. So don't sign up with your business name. I'll show you how to create a business page in just a minute. After you log in, as you can see, we have a news feed where you see people's posts. You know how on Facebook you have all sorts of different groups, some of which are created specifically for your area. That's how Nextdoor works. It helps you connect with people in your area. Feel free to explore the app around. You have different categories on the left hand side to help you find different things. However, I want to focus more in this video on the business side. As you can see, bigger brands such as UK government, Vodafone have already started using this part of their marketing strategy. So that's why you should too. If you go to the business section on the left hand side, this is where people can find different businesses that they might be looking for. And you can also see the recent conversations where people ask for recommendations. And this is why you want to be there. If someone asks for a service that you can provide, you can jump into that conversation and tell them how you can help them. Let me give you another reason. If we use the search bar and type web designer, currently, as you can see, we are the only business listed here. Let's search for a builder. Few more options, but you can use recommendations and reviews to make sure that your business stands out from your competition. This is your opportunity to be one of the first to sign up, beat your competition and start building your reputation, start gathering those reviews slash recommendations. By the time your competition joins, you'll be way ahead of them. So where do we start? We go back to the business section and here we click on the add new button. This is where you would choose your category. Most likely you will be in the professional business if you have an established business. I think the idea behind it is if you're just a person who perhaps is looking for some extra work, you might go for the first option. But if you have an established business, you're a sole trader or company, this is what you do full time, you'll want to go for the second option. So let's click on that. Confirm the email we want to use to manage our business page. And this is where you would type your business name and address. Just a quick note here, at the time of creating this video, I know there are some issues selecting an address that does not have a number. For example, in my case, Alia Future Business Center, London Road, Peterborough, the system won't allow me to select it. The customer service is aware of it. They are working on it, fixing this. What they have suggested is for now to use a number that is nearby your main location. So let's fill this in. As you can see, the system has found a business with a similar name or exact name. And if the business hasn't been claimed, or does not exist, you will have the option to register. Now, obviously we have already registered our own page, so we're not gonna do that again. However, in your case, you will just continue the registration process. And as soon as you click register, you will land on a page similar to this. Now we're not done yet. In fact, the page is not fully published in your case. Before Nextdoor makes your page visible, you do need to get, I think, two or three recommendations. These are the hearts over here. It's very simple. All you need to do is copy the link over here 
So you just have to click on the button and reach out so to some of your customers, friends, people who've used your service before and ask them to leave your recommendation. Well, first of all, obviously to publish a page, but this is where things get even more interesting. You see this map over here? If I zoom out, you can see a grid of gray and green areas. Apparently this is directly related to the neighborhoods and neighbors around you. But this number is not fixed. In fact, the more recommendations you get, the more people you can reach. So as you can see in our case, we're reaching the whole south of Peterborough and also a little bit of the north. When I just created my business page and I got my first two, three recommendations, my reach was a lot lower. I think it was around three or 4,000. And now obviously as I got more recommendations, it reached to over 12,000. So try to get as many reviews as possible. This is what will help you stand out from your competition when people are searching for businesses like yours. Two more things I'll show you. The first one is the neighborhood comments. This is where you can see your recommendation comments. So people can leave a recommendation with or without a comment. Similar to Google reviews, it's best practice to reply to these, as that will signal the platform next door in this case, that your business is active. So perhaps that will help you reach even more people. Inbox, this is where you would receive messages. This is a new page, so nothing to show here just yet. And the last stop, business profile. Try to complete this in as much details as possible. Add your logo, add the relevant cover photo, and very, very important, choose your category or categories. Double check the contact details just to make sure they are correct. As I mentioned earlier, currently, there are some issues with selecting an address that does not have a number. Now we are located in Alia Future Business Center and because the address itself doesn't have a number, I had to choose something that is around the area as close as possible. So hopefully this, fix, this will be fixed soon. This is where you want to double check your email address, your website. So if you haven't added those, definitely do so, your phone number and of course your opening hours. Write a short story about your business. So basically this is your about section. Tell people who you are, what you do, what's your USP, why should people choose you? And lower down, you also have access to a photo gallery. So definitely make use of that and try to upload some photos relevant to your business. So in our case, as you can see, we've uploaded the different types of, of websites we've built so far. In your case, again, it could be some, some of the work you've done for your clients. Now, if you're wondering how exactly do you get out of this simple, on the top right hand corner, we click on this drop down, and from here we choose use next door as our personal profile in this case. And of course, if I want to switch back, I will do exactly the same. So click on the drop down, and from here you can see I can choose to go back into my page. The only thing left for you to do is actually use it. Be active, be there when people are asking for recommendations. Now, if you are looking for more tips to promote your local business, I will put some suggestions on the screen now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, leave any questions in the comment section below, and of course, subscribe to be notified when we release our next video. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.